Didi Osama. 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 Yo, Didi Osama is in the building. Didi Osama. That Didi Osama. I know the name. Meet Didi Osama, a 16-year-old rapper and hip-hop recording artist from the streets on Sugar Hill, Harlem, New York. Despite his young age, Didi has quickly established himself as one to watch in the music industry. Thanks to his drill sound and hit singles like Without You, Dead Ops, and 40s and 9s, also has recently been bought out at Rolling Loud and surpassed 2.8 million views on a visualizer video for Up Now, a song featuring Coy LeRae. This episode of Off The Record, we will discover the tragedies Didi has faced in his short life on the rise to viral fame. We'll highlight points about the cosigns from famous rappers and the modeling opportunities he secured with only being in the game for such a short amount of time. All that and much, much more. I'm your host, Aaron. Let's run it up. David Reyes was born at a Brooklyn hospital on November 29, 2006 to Kremsey Martinez and Eddie Reyes, but his parents split up when he was young. Fortunately, he found a constant source of support in his stepfather. Being from Dominican descent, his mom used to listen to a lot of Hispanic music, which Didi also says is his love for music. His mother worked in real estate the majority of his life, and he grew up surrounded by a big family. With five brothers and one sister, two of his brothers are rappers like him. One of his older brothers is also an aspiring model, while his younger brother, Nadi, followed in Didi's footsteps and became a rapper. As a child, Didi attended elementary school in Harlem. Later, he moved to Yonkers for middle school, where he discovered his love for English class. He also spent some afternoons playing pickup basketball or football with his older brothers. Despite these activities, Didi soon realized that he wasn't very skilled in sports and didn't enjoy it as much as the others did. This disconnect led Didi to search for something else to occupy his time, and he soon found his passion in rap music. Today, he continues to create music that captures the essence of drill music and resonates with fans around the world. Didi Osama's journey to become a successful rapper didn't start alone. He teamed up with two of his brothers, J Star Baller and Nadi Osama, and together they got their start with a homemade studio that they built in their grandmother's place. While J Star, the oldest of the bunch, moved on and got his own place, Didi and Nadi continued their music journey with the booth that they installed themselves. The neighbors would often file noise complaints about them being disruptive and playing their music too loud. Although J Star got a head start on his younger brothers and began releasing music in 2020, Didi and Nadi waited a bit longer before officially kickstarting their music careers in 2022. Didi decided to take his rap music seriously and Osama came up with his name by adding an extra D to his real name, David. As for the last part, Osama is a moniker that he decided to share with his younger brother, Nadi. Didi's music is inspired by one of his favorite artists, Polo G, whom he always managed to connect with. He started dropping his first professional tracks about a year ago, and one of his first hits was a collaboration with Nadi and Sugar Hill, D-Dot, entitled Two Tacks, which they released in Raps and Hustlers' YouTube channel. Shortly after that, he released more singles like Party in the USA and E4M, racking up over a million views on each video. With his hard work and dedication, Didi Osama has quickly become a rising star in the rap game. In the summer of 2022, Didi and his younger brother Nadi collaborated in the studio to create a track called Dead Ops, which became one of Didi's biggest hits to date. However, the success of the song was overshadowed by a devastating personal loss when Nadi was tragically killed. Nadi, whose real name was Ethan Reyes, had begun his music career alongside his brother Didi, but he would not live to see the full fruition of their journey together. On July 11th, 2022, Nadi was fatally stabbed during an altercation at 137th Street City College subway station in Harlem Heights, Manhattan. According to reports, Nadi and members of their OY, Original Gangsters crew, got into a confrontation with a 15-year-old rival whose name was Kelvin Martinez. CCTV footage of the incident has not been released, but the witnesses reported that Nadi started to hit the boy with a broom. And in response, the boy delivered a fatal stab wound to Nadi's lung. After being attacked, Nadi pushed the boy onto the train tracks where he landed on his back. Martinez then climbed up and fled the station as Reyes staggered down the platform and collapsed on the staircase. He was rushed to the hospital, but sadly, the wound had already caused damage to his organs and it was too late to save him. Martinez, who stabbed Nadi, was also taken to the hospital to be treated for puncture wounds to his hip and was later arrested on second degree murder charges. After the police saw the CCTV footage of Nadi and his crew initiating the confrontation, the charges were later dropped from second-degree murder to manslaughter. According to Martinez, he was just defending himself. Didi claims he was with his brother just moments before his untimely death and decided to go back to the block before the commotion happened. Later, when he received the news of his brother's passing, it hit him like a thunderbolt. He posted a final shout-out to his little brother on Instagram, questioning why he had to leave. The following day, Didi released the video for the collaboration Dead Ops. In memory of his brother, the track quickly became a hit and has surpassed 13 million views to date.
In September, Didi got his first taste of what the fruits of his hard work got him besides music. Didi was rewarded in September with a unique opportunity to model for hip-hop mogul Kanye West's Yeezy Gap collection. This was a significant milestone for Didi, as it represented a tangible result of its relentless efforts in the music industry. The latest rollout of the Shades campaign focused on the underground creatives who populate downtown NYC. Didi was one of the participants who received an exclusive DM invitation to a photo studio in the West Village, where he was asked to style himself in the Yeezy Gap Shades in dark-hued clothing. Upon arrival, Didi was ushered to the selfie cube. A silvery box appeared in the center of the room where he was given an iPad and 30 minutes to take as many selfies as he wanted. The employees met in the cube and informed him that Kanye himself would review the pictures and select his favorite. This was an exhilarating experience for Didi, and the fact that he was able to showcase his modeling skills to a global audience was a testament to his hard work and perseverance. But that wasn't the only modeling opportunity that would come his way. A month later, in October 2022, he got a co-sign by the biggest artist in the game, none other than Mr. God's plan himself, Drizzy Drake, when he and his close friend Sugar Hill D-Dot and E-Dot Baby linked up with the man himself and later shot exclusive pictures for the Nocta, Nike Street Uniform Collection, the team behind the campaign took to the streets of Harlem and the Bronx. The campaign captured the trio perfectly, showcasing a number of young residents that refer to themselves as the goaded ones. This breakthrough in his early career would also be bittersweet when his close childhood friend E-Dot Baby committed suicide on November 4th. One of the artist's most popular songs was Ready for War, which helped put him in a Harlem Sugar Hill section on Drill Fans' radars in early 2020. In September 2022, Didi signed a record deal with Alamo Records, home to successful artists such as Rod Wave and Lil Durk. Lil Durk had previously signed with Alamo in 2018 and experienced significant career growth after leaving Def Jam. Similarly, Rod Wave's debut album sold more copies in his first week at NBA Youngboy. With such a powerhouse label now behind him, Didi is poised to reach new heights in his career. Although the amount of the deal was undisclosed, given his young age, Didi's financial future could now be secure. This could provide a sense of relief for his family and allow them to plan for the future with more confidence. Additionally, Alamo Records is a small roster of big game artists, so Didi is likely to receive the attention and resources he needs to succeed. This is, is a significant milestone in Didi's career, and we can't wait to see what he does next to the support of Alamo Records behind him. Dub as the drill Justin Bieber. He has accrued a pop star-esque fan base the likes of drill has never seen. In rare fashion today, the hype is just as real online as it is offline. On TikTok, hashtag DDO Summer has 3.4 billion views and he is headlining sold out shows in Chicago, New York, and LA. With 50K plus worth of jewelry in the world at his feet, fans hope that he can leave the streets behind him. As it continues to make a unique, lasting impression on the hip hop scene, sky's the limit for this young king. I'm Aaron, with this off the record exclusive produced by Trap Transition. Peace.